The simulacrum is never that which conceals the truth. It is the truth which conceals that there is none. The simulacrum is true. Ecclesiastes. If we were able to take as the finest allegory of simulation the Borgia's tale, where the cartographers of the Empire draw up a map so detailed that it ends up exactly covering the territory, but where the decline of the Empire sees this map become frayed and finally ruined, a few shreds still discernible in the deserts. The metaphysical beauty of this ruined abstraction, bearing witness to an imperial pride and rotting like a carcass, returning to the substance of the soil, rather as an aging double ends up being confused with the real thing, then this fable has come full circle for us, and now has nothing but the discreet charm of second-order simulacra. Abstraction today is no longer that of the map, the double, the mirror, or the concept. Simulation is no longer that of a territory, a referential being, or a substance. It is the generation by models of a real without origin or reality, a hyper-real. The territory no longer precedes the map, nor survives it. Henceforth, it is the map that precedes the territory, precision of simulacra. It is the map that engenders the territory, and if we were to revive the fable today, it would be the territory whose shreds are slowly rotting across the map. It is the real, and not the map, whose vestiges subsist here and there in the deserts, which are no longer those of the empire, but our own, the desert of the real itself.